What's up guys? How are you? Welcome to the Scraper's Guide for Guide sorry for 20, 2022. The last guide I made about uh, the scrapers for Jolly was actually about two years ago. So I think it's a great time to make a new one. You can find it in my YouTube channel. Um, yes, so short introduction for all of you who doesn't know me. My name is Adrienne Conina. I am also Dr. Jarvi. I run the Facebook community uh, for the Jarvi people. Uh, if you know that, the Jarvi support community. Um, also, I'm doing Jarvi management and Jarvi teaching and tutorials for the last three, four years, something like that. And um, yes, and today we're going to speak about scrapers for Jarvi for Instagram. Why do you need it? How to use it? Do you really need that? How much it costs? Where to start? And so on. Yes, so we try to make it very on point. I know it can be a bit complicated, so we definitely try to make it very, very easy to understand. I will do my best. And I hope I will manage to do that. So uh, yes, let's start. So first of all, before we start with the scrapers, we must understand what is the API, okay? And the API of Instagram. So basically the API of Instagram or in the official way, it's like application program interface. It's how you can actually communicate, interact with apps or in this example with Instagram. So uh, for example, there are like many, many software and tools that may, you may know some of them as later, buffer, whole seat, and so on, which these apps are actually official partners of Instagram. So Instagram basically led them to uh, access to the official Instagram API. Uh, so this is very nice for them. <laughs> okay, but uh, for example, programs um, like Darby, um, they are not running on the official API of Instagram. You can imagine why. Okay, they run basically on their own private API. So, um, this is just the first thing to understand. And the API is basically how you can communicate and do any action or any information you want to get on Instagram app. Now, what is the job of the scrapers and why you basically must use them? So the scrapers works only on the API and they take the risk instead of the main accounts to get blocks, bans, and any kind of verification pop-ups to make happen when you scrape data from Instagram because as you may know, Instagram doesn't want you to scrape data from their platform. They want you to just use the app, be human, and help them to, <laughs> you know, make the app more successful. That pretty much makes sense. So um, we actually using scrapers in Jarvis since 2020 um, just to get data, to filter data, to scrape data, to sign data, and to do any type of action which the main account doesn't have to do and doesn't put the main account on any disk. Um, how do we explain Like, Let's say you try to, to scrape data. Let's say I want my main account. I want my main account to follow all of the followers of X or all of the people following or interacting with someone specifically. So I need to get all of the followers of this guy or this girl. So instead of my main account to do this kind of job and to put in dangers because Instagram can actually see that and they can block him, I'm going to use the scrapers. So basically the scrapers are going to help us to scrape data, find the data, filter the data, and sign the data. Okay. A sign can mean like to get amount of followers gain you have today, to get your specific amount of followers, following engagement, and so on, any kind of like signing data and analytics in your app. Now the reason for that, just in conclusion, the main account, when I say main account, I mean like your account, your client's account, accounts you actually care about. This is main accounts. And so definitely, yes, if you ask yourself if you must use scrapers in Jarvi in 2022, so yes, you must. It's not a recommendation. It's something that also like the Jarvi team will tell you to do if you want to play it safely and avoid any issues. Okay, so don't try to go cheap with it. Now, even if you have only one account, okay, I don't care. <laughs> it can be very, very dangerous and you can ask people which try that. Um, where you can get the Scrapers account? So first of all, you can also create Scrapers using Jarvi. Jarvi has an insight tool called Create Instagram Account, IG Create Tool. I'm not going to cover it on this video, but just to let you know, it's also an option. I actually recommend to get a Scrapers for one, for one of these websites. I mostly go with the Project One. Okay, he has a private scrapers he's selling. Okay, you can see it over here. And you can try to focus on these three because he has a lot of other stuff over here, but you don't really care about them. 
go now. So we can go with iOS flat scrapers. It's 0 0.35 cents. We had it on the stock. Accounts with emails have actually become expensive. It's 65 cents, but we don't really must use that. And this is also an option, but I think it's sold out now. So basically, you can just go with this option and you can purchase it. You can pay with crypto. And you must go with at least five scrapers, okay, for the start, just to let you know. And you can pay with crypto or with a credit card, okay? This is the two options you can definitely go with. Now, before you purchase that, um, let's go with all the other things you actually need. Uh, so you can also understand how many scrapers you need. So do you need a proxy for the scrapers? So yes, the answer is yes. Of course, if you have only one account, one main account, so you don't have to get a proxy, it's, it's all good. But if you speak about five, four, six, plus and so on, I'm going to scale that. So definitely, yes, get a, get a proxy. And why? Basically, why to get a proxy and why to get a 4G proxy, as I showed over here. Just because Instagram, when they see any type of like, they basically, from what I understand, of course, they're like in getting the point together, connecting the point and see uh, the algorithm see if something here is not makes sense okay so for example let's say you make too many actions and you use the same ip and the same device at the same time the same people like something that it's like you have a lot of patterns so they can easily see that and flag your activity and block you so this is why we must use a proxy and definitely a 4g because this is like the most humanly why what people are doing today on their phone, they're using Instagram from their phone mostly. So I would definitely recommend to get a 4G. A, I recommend to go with a social proxy website. They have some amazing proxies, the best one I ever tried. And I'm guessing you also know some of my videos with Tal, the owner of this website. So he also know what he's doing over here. He's also has some great support and, and great guide about Jarvi and growth hacking. So this is what I would recommend to go. And um, one proxy can be good for maximum 70 scrapers. It can be even good for a bit more than that. But if you want to stay on the sweet spot, even the sweet spot, <laughs> something like that. So go with maximum 70. And if you use my code coupon over here with my, my affiliate Vital, you get 15 euro discount. Okay, so instead of 90 euro, it goes down to 75 euro. And this is the code coupon you need. And now if you try to calculate how many scrapers you basically need for Jarvi, so it depends. In every one account, I would recommend to go with six scrapers. So let's say if you have two main accounts, you need 12 scrapers. If you have 50 clients accounts or main accounts, you need 300 scrapers. Okay, this is basically the ratio I will go. Now, if you ask yourself why I need that many scrapers, it all depends about how many scraping, how many filtering you're doing and how many API calls the scrapers needs to do. As much as you have more filters, more sourcing, um, more API calls, you need more scrapers to make sure the scrapers won't burn for you. And because the settings we're using are very, 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 very um, easy to use, I can say like it's very comfortable. We don't go to the limit. And yes, so basically you can just go to the website to purchase that. And after you do that, you will get an email, auto complete. Over here, you can see I purchased, for example, 50 scrapers. It cost me $17,850. You click on get a product. You have a um, text file, and then you have all of the scrapers. The next thing you need to do, you can copy all of that. And I actually made for you, I tried to make it very easy. So I made for you like a Google Sheet over here with a template you can basically use for free. Um, you can just go over here, click on file, make a copy, and work on your copy. And over here, you paste the data on column number B. You just paste it like that. No, sorry. Let's try one more time. Yeah. And basically, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to split these columns to that to the data. So just like that. So here, I basically have the names, the username, and here I have the um, password. And basically, here you can give it a name, scraper one, or you can just also copy the username and put it over here. Depends. On this example, I'm only going with five scrapers. Okay, not more than that. So we delete all of the rest. And the other thing you need to do, if you have the proxy, you need to put the IP. Okay, the IP you have for the social proxy and the port, for example. It should be something like that. Then the username, we have it as well, and the password. 
That's an example over here. I won't do this, but if you have it and you purchase it, so just pull it over here. All of this information, oh, so the tag, very important to give it the tag of the scrapers. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but basically to go to the settings tab over here and to click, to click on social platforms, Instagram, and you must make sure you check all of these three boxes and you have scrapers tag over here. So this is basically what I just explained before, that for any kind of scraping process, syncing data, execute any tool for scraping, you would use accounts with the tag scrapers. That will make sure that the accounts which doing this kind of actions will be your scrapers and not the main accounts. More things you have over here. Basically, if you get a Fox scrapers with um, email, you need to put the email, a username, pass a POP server. It can be like POP, but um, depends which provider you have, so the Gmail or so on. Um, but if you don't have it with the Gmail, it's all good with, it, with the, I mean, um, the email comes in. A port is mostly 993, depends, but again, I don't think you need it. And the user agent, Java will generate the user agent like the device for you automatically. So no need to do it by itself. Cool, after you have this file, you need to click on file and you need just to click on download as a CSV. Okay, keep in mind you must do it as a CSV. And cool, now I'm going to copy that. Okay, I'm going to the server. Uh, sorry for the mess. Maybe I will delete some of like all the stuff over here so you won't get, I won't get confused, not you. You're good. So this is the file. Then you go to Jarvi. And here I want to explain one more thing. Jarvi basically made a cool, cool thing and a cool packages for you guys that you don't need to pay for a scrapers account when you basically have a, a professional package. And let me to explain. Okay, so basically you have three different packages of Jarvi. You have the starter, which it comes with like $30 and you have 10 maximum social accounts to do, to use. You have the a regular with 30 accounts for $50 and you have the professional with $70. Okay, I make it like that. And basically what Jarvi did to make sure that you will have um, a good deal with them is they actually add a feature over here, an option called Instagram Scraper. This option uh, is actually available only if you have the package of the 70 accounts. On this Javi, for example, I have only the 10 accounts, so I actually don't have these packages. And basically when you pay for a, the $70 package, you can add unlimited amount of scrapers. Thousands and thousands of scrapers, okay? So uh, they did it because they don't want to charge for the scrapers because as we mentioned before, it's a must, you must get scrapers in order to use it uh, for the main account or the safest way. So now I don't have it, but basically if you will have it, you click on import accounts and you use that. And now because I only use it for it's one account, I need just like six, six scrapers, sorry. Um, I think I even have a bit Lower than that, <laughs> but let's say I have over there like this, the six scrapers. So I click on add profile, import account, and I actually use this sheet. We just add cool, and you can see one, two, three, four. Basically, now what I need to do before I verify all of them, I must make sure I add limits for them. Okay, click over here, click on show advanced profile settings, and you must make sure you add limits to the scrapers so they want to burn for you. Why we need these limits? Because if the scraping, the scraper so we will make too many API calls in shorter amount of time, they will get disabled and dead pretty fast. So here you can see, not sure if you can actually see that. So my face is pretty big over here. Um, <laughs> how I make it smaller? Okay, I stop myself. Cool. So you just click over here and you see 70 to 80, and between 70 to 80 minutes. Okay, I hope you explain. So you need to do maximum 40 API calls per hour. If you reach that, you need to stop for 70 to 80 minutes. And over here, basically you can put maximum 110 API calls a day with the wait between 70 to 60 minutes, sorry. Okay, and as you can see, you can keep this as, as regular and basically a few more things I'm doing, actually this I don't use anymore but I do click on this option and this option. And one sec, I'll show you. 
just for yeah so no this no that i just do random actions to make sure i actually look a bit more human as well with the scrapers and i do optimize api calls to the more actions and then basically what i'm going to do i'm going to click on copy settings because i want to copy all of these settings to the other scrapers account i click it and tag scraper i have all of them over here over here you must make sure you uncheck the box of the user agent so you can just write over here with your agent sorry and just make sure you uncheck all of them then you click on select all over here and you click on ok and basically now Jarvi just as you can see send these settings to all of the other scrapers i have even if you have four if even if you have five even if you have one thousand it will copy all of the settings okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on select all actions and i'm going to verify all of them together okay i click over here verify profile click on yes and now basically Javi will try to just log into the account and this one, as you can see, it's getting into email confirmation, I'm guessing the scrapers. This one specifically I already used, probably, but all of the rest, as you can see, are all of them valid. And when it gets to email confirmation and I don't have the email, we can just actions and I can just delete the scrapers. Mm -mm -mm. What is the delete tab? Cool, cool. Yes, and pretty much that's it. Um, again, I just show you that for like the low amount of, of scrapers in Jarvi. If you have, um, wait, now it make, can you see me now? Yeah, sorry. So if you have, for example, like, you know, um, 100 men account, you need like 600 scrapers. And of course, you also need the proxy for them. I haven't already purchased the proxy here. But if you will have it, if you need it, so use that. Don't be cheap. Don't just say, I don't need the scrapers. I will just do it without scrapers. Do not. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Trust me from past experience. And yes, and if you have any more questions, any more things you want to ask or to get consult, so just feel free to go to our community on Facebook, the Charlie community, and you can definitely post any question or anything you have you have we have also the telegram channel uh, of Jarvis so feel free to go over there as well and yes one more thing i want to let you know before we would finish that you can always just go to the scrapers account you have and just copy the settings to other accounts you have okay you don't need basically to remember the settings we just did you can always just go here and copy the settings of course make sure you don't <laughs> you don't copy a uh, more stuff just use your agent just like that and do not copy it to the main account and that's it thank you very much for watching hope it's you found this video valuable and i will see you on the next video have a good one bye bye